walking in with a phone and a picture of this of the perfect wife with a black eye. Um, and it comes at a time when uh, Chief of Staff Kelly has already been criticized this week for his comments about Dreamers uh, not signing up, some of them who didn't sign up because they were eligible but didn't sign up because they were uh, too scared or, or too lazy. Uh, and a number of other things that he has said about the Civil War and whatever we could go on and on. Um, but do you think, Abby, that, that John Kelly's job is at stake here, that this is, this is big enough, enough of a distraction to irritate the president that he would ask him to leave? I'm not sure that it is. I mean, I think that with Trump, often there are small moments of irritation, but as long as you uh, continue to be there, th those moments are going to come and go. And I would also make a distinction between some of those things that have made John Kelly a, a controversial figure, the dreamer uh, comments, the comments about Frederica Wilson. Uh, those comments are some comments that have actually made Kelly more Trump-like in a lot of ways. The thing that, that annoys Trump about Kelly is when Kelly tried to imply that he was not fully informed about his own immigration policy, for example, uh, or the degree to which Kelly has restricted the access of Trump's outside kitchen cabinet to the president. So there are separate issues here about the things that are Ke Kelly's doing that make him controversial to the you know, outsiders and the things that annoy Trump about him. And they're not the same thing. I think this is an instance where the president was irritated by being blindsided. But we also saw Kelly traveling with the president this morning, going to the national prayer breakfast with him uh, as part of a small group of aides who traveled with him to that event. Uh, I think you often see people coming in and out of the president's good graces. It takes a lot for Trump to finally say enough is enough. And sometimes it can be very sudden. It's I was going to say, it's also hard to believe that, that you know, this reads read to me like one of those typical Ivanka leaks, like Ivanka's going to save the day and she's so horrified by everything and she wants to change the world, if only she could, um, where she went in and showed him this picture and he went, oh, that's horrible. You know, that's a normal human reaction, but that's not consistent with how he has reacted to allegations of abuse and assault throughout the last two oh, years. It's and it's fun. worth knowing that Ivanka and her picks are very close. So right. it, it, you would have to also believe that her picks would not communicate 